It's 6 a.m. and I've just woken up, right when my metabolism is at its highest. The first thing I do, you guessed it, a controlled sit-up. You gotta activate that core in the morning. I'm Lily, and this is the day in the life of a fitness influencer. Next, I brush my teeth just like anyone else would, but I do it with a twist, crab walks. Gotta activate that booty. Breakfast. Avocado and toast. What else would a fitness influencer eat? Now this is a work of art. Gotta get in them good fits. Multigrain toast, of course. Layer on the balsamic glaze, special herbs, and a slice of lemon. No, Alex, you can't eat that. Camera always eats first. Can I? No. no. This is yours. This is yours. Okay, so that's not what a day in the life of a fitness influencer really looks like. I'm not that much of a dick. But I am aware that there are probably a lot of stereotypes around what a fitna fitness, fitness, fitness influencer does for a living. So before we get stuck into what my day actually looks like, I'm gonna get stuck into this. I wake up at 8 a.m. every morning. I try not to hit the snooze button. Easier said than done. Once I'm up, I do about 15 minutes of breath work and stretching, followed by five minutes of journaling. But Teddy can make this a little difficult sometimes. <laughs> Teddy. About six years ago now, I used to work as a physiotherapist for Chelsea FC Academy, and I learned so much from the athletes. They have pretty much the same routine every single morning, and I used to think, could that not get a little bit boring? But actually I realize now how liberating it must be. You cut back on the wasted energy, constantly being in a state of stress, wondering what's next, and instead you can use that energy on the things that really matter most. So as you guys can probably tell, my mornings aren't as smooth as what they looked like initially. There's always like a load of craziness going on in the background. Yes, your food is there, baby. So, coffee's down. Um, today is Wednesday, which basically means it is a rehab day. So I'm gonna be working on my knee. So it's a strength session. I'm gonna be doing booty, hamstrings, quads, calves, the whole lot. This year I've basically promised myself that I'm gonna try and become as strong and lean as I physically can. But I haven't eaten before this session. This is a new like habit that I put in place two weeks ago. I thought it was gonna be awful just because I'm someone who needs like a lot of food. I eat a lot of calories, but it was actually okay. So I'm now two weeks into doing fasted workouts. I do have a coffee. And then after my workout, I basically load on the calories. I have a lot of protein. Today's session is gonna be an hour and a half. It is mainly weights. And the reason why I'm not eating beforehand is because I'm trying to get my workouts done and finished by 9.30. I am not a morning person, guys. I like envy those people who I see out running at 6 a.m. How are you up that early? That is not me. So I'm trying to like force myself into new habits to be done with my workouts by 9.30 so that I have the whole day ahead of me. It's time to work out. One, two, 29.30. Iwala. Here is my gym space. I'm ready. I think. <laughs> Today's session whoop, is basically gonna start off with my weights, with my rehab for my knee, and then I'm finishing up with a 30 minute hit session, which is actually day eight from my lean transformation guide. So about an hour and a half, it's gonna be a long one. It's not gonna be pretty but I'm ready. And just in case you're wondering how I track what I'm doing, I'm old school. Look, <laughs> this is actually torn because I've used it so many times, but this is how I write out my program. Just because I hate looking at my phone during a workout because I find that I get distracted. So I keep it old school. I actually put ticks next to things when I've completed them. But honestly, I found by writing out your program, you save so much wasted time. So this is my rehab that I'm gonna be going through. Then I literally put my phone in front of me, my headphones in, and I follow myself. Yes, it's as cringe as it sounds, right? It is time to activate the booty. 
So for activation, I pop on my resistance band and I'm doing 50 reps of each exercise. Crab walks to the side, crab walks forward and back, donkey kicks and elevated butterfly bridges. Now onto the main section, I've got three sets of 10 reps of each exercise. First up is the step up, slow and controlled, followed by deadlifts, single leg and double leg. We've then got hamstring rollouts, slow and controlled. These are tough guys. Next up is straight leg corner kicks. I actually do this up on a bench just so that I can get a lot of range and really work that glute med. Okay, I hate this exercise. Sit to stand. After my ACL rupture, I really struggle. Last up is pelvic thrusts, my favorite for hitting the glutes. I'm now finishing up with the Leave with Lily Guide, day eight. Wow. I'm a bitch for all of you girls doing my guide. I salute you. That was tough. Post-workout smoothie. So in here I've got plant-based vanilla protein, half almond milk, half water, frozen berries, and then my secret ingredient, how I get it so like thick, is half a frozen banana. Some mixed linseed, always ground if you can, because it just helps for digestion. And then exactly the same with flax. So you see a lot of people using flax seeds that aren't ground, so they're gonna be really hard for your stomach to digest. That was your, I need to weed I out, really need it? a weed. <laughs> okay, quickly. Yeah, ready? That is what I'm talking about. Look how thick that is. Oh yeah. What was that? <laughs> 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 Life of a fitness influencer. Yeah. That wouldn't make it on Instagram. That's when it doesn't quite blend properly. So um, I made a rookie error. I basically put the protein powder in before the water. So you've got to put the water in first, then the protein powder. But anyway, that could be mixed. I gotta be. I'm basically like really, really, really wanting to scope. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> Sculpt my lower body, so I'm taking all the supplements correctly this year. Creatine, BCAAs, gets in my belly, and then the other thing that I'm having every morning is greens. So I basically used to take separate wheatgrass and spirulina, but this greens is a mix of like all greens. I have to say, I don't, I don't love the taste of any greens to be honest, but. I just get it, I shot it. It's so good for you guys. So this for basically like cleansing your whole system, getting in all the goodness that you could possibly need. And this for growing the muscle and recovery. Okay, and now I need to cook breakfast. So I hate spending loads of time cooking in the morning, but at the same time, I love eating. So I've come up with a shortcut, which I've been doing for a couple of years, which is basically batch cooking. So I cook a lot in the evenings for dinner so that there's leftovers for the next day or the next couple of days for breakfast and lunch. So today I'm having chickpea burgers, which we had last night, but with a twist. I'm gonna add a few ingredients to it. So here it is. So one is in, basically this mix. It takes 15 minutes to make up, I would say. In here, well, the recipe's on my website, but it's basically chickpeas, onions, carrot, and a whole load of spices, and then you get it into a patty. There's a little bit of flour in there, so it isn't gluten-free, but it is vegan. And then you drop it in, whoa! <laughs> there. And they'll be ready in like three minutes. Also got baked beans on here. Well, I'd normally add avocado, but that is hard enough to break a window. Avocados drive me crazy. But otherwise, breakfast is served. Arigato. Uh, How good is that? So every day I write out my top three things that I must do. I don't write any more than three just because I find I don't get them done. And by writing it down on the whiteboard, I feel that I'm far more accountable and I keep glancing up at it and it's the best feeling to tick it off. So it's now around 10.30 and this is the first time that I'm logging in to social media. I basically have a new habit, and I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this, but I found that I was waking up every single morning and checking Instagram, Facebook, and even YouTube, you guys, checking on you guys, before I've even got up out of bed. And I was wasting so much time scrolling through my phone. So my new rule is I get up, I do my routine, I work out, and then 
I check social media and I only check Facebook on my laptop. There's actually some really, really interesting research, an uh, incredible author that I was listening to who was saying you need to kind of compartmentalize where you're absorbing your content. So for me, Facebook is on my laptop, Instagram is on my phone and YouTube is actually on both. And I found it has been an absolute game changer. I'm not wasting as much time just scrolling through and not really gaining much, if you know what I mean. So right now, Facebook is on here. I then check through my emails, reply to any urgent emails, and then I get stuck in with what is on my whiteboard. If possible, I try to keep all my meetings to the afternoon, just because otherwise I feel like I'm wasting my whole day. So as per, I'm rushing, doing my makeup for an event, which I'm very late for. Bye, Teddy. Love you, Teddy. Get ready. Ever. Date night. Date night. I'm so excited. Um, so we are, everything's spilling everything. We're approaching the restaurant now. Alex and I are having our like fortnightly date night that we try to have. The yeah. Burj Khalifa, tallest building in the world. Can't even catch the top of it. So we're going somewhere no, we're in there. I don't know where. So that gives you an idea of what the day in the life of a content creator looks like. Now, as you might be able to tell, there is no such thing as a normal day for me. It literally changes every single day. And I love that, I really do. And when I first got into this industry, I just found it so exciting and amazing that I didn't know what was gonna be happening the next week or even the next day. Yes. That is amazing and I wouldn't change it for the world. However, I have found as I've done more reading and more self-development that actually having a bit of routine and habits in your life is so, so important for success and happiness. Particularly for me, I need a way of tracking my life. I need a way of knowing where I'm going. And this industry is always changing and you never know what's coming. So for me, building daily habits is really, really important. I graduated from university 10 years ago as a physiotherapist. If you were to have told me that I would be making a living by sharing my life online, sharing my workout, sharing my recipes, I think I would have spat my drink out in your face. That was the best analogy I could come up with. Like. I never thought this was physically possible. I got into physiotherapy because I wanted to help people because I hate seeing people in pain and I soon found out that I could only see a certain amount of patients every single day. Even if I literally filled up my diary back to back, I could only see 16 people a day. Now I'm reaching thousands of people through being online. The fact that you're watching this right now, thank you. You don't know how much it means to me and I really hope I'm adding value. I hope I'm helping you guys. I hope you've got an opportunity to see what I do every single day, which sometimes can be crazy, but I often wanna make it as normal as possible because building habits has been a game changer for my happiness. I hope you guys have got to see what my day entails. And if you have any other questions about how I make a living, how I actually make money out of this or what is coming up next, because there's a lot coming, please do comment down below. And yeah, I'm gonna go and actually film some workouts now, because you guys gotta have some workouts. There's a new challenge coming, guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon.